three. Cutting the ribbon on a new Toronto foodie experience unlike any other. It's called Italy and it's located in the Manulife Center. It's kind of like an Italian food court on steroids. It's three floors, there's a stall for everything. You got your salads, you got your fresh lasagna over here. If you want your meat, you go over to the butcher section and there's fresh meat imported from Italy. They're rolling out fresh made pasta, pouring Italian espressos, making pizza in the same way they do in Naples. Even the pizza ovens are imported from Italy. There's a seafood restaurant, a gelateria, a brewery, and $2,000 cheese wheels. There are at least almost six or 700 products that for the first time from Italy are in Canada. There's even a cooking school. I feel like I'm on the Food Network here. You even have the overhead camera shot of what we're doing. This is a great way to teach people how to cook, right? Oh, definitely. Not just teaching how to cook, but also uh, let them understand the philosophy behind eating well. It's the 40th Italy location in the world. This Toronto one costs $25 million to build, and it employs 450 people. It's big. It's impressive. It's also largely expensive. The prices are pretty high here. We've, you know, it's a very fancy food hall. Is this what the city needs right now? I think the city needs uh, investment of all kinds, and uh, I think we're making efforts to make sure that some of the neighborhoods that don't even have a grocery store in them are getting served better. Uh, we've got mobile food trucks that are going around to places that have been denied the opportunity to buy fresh food, but so too do we need places like this. It's also something that may go against the current trend in the food business, which is fast, must-have-it-now delivery. Italy is an experience that takes time, though the president contends there's something for everyone. You can sit down at the table and spend a couple of hours. You can grab something and leave. So you I don't think, think it's running counter to wh where the market is right now? Quick delivery. You know, I think that experience will never be counterintuitive. Italy did get the stamp of approval from an Italian tourist. So how does this compare? This is like everything Italy here. Do you feel like your home? I feel this is my home, actually. You know, there's no guarantee Italy is going to bake up a success here. Toronto has 10,000 food service outlets, 400 grocery stores. So there's big competition for Italy's big location and its big prices. Baking up some pizza pie, Richard Southern City News.